All right, we are back on the Convergence mod. And one, you guys told me that there was a follow-up to this attack that I wasn't uh, using. So we're gonna do that. Oh, okay. I am upset I missed out on that. So now that we got that out of the way, we're gonna be starting a new game. And today we are going to be playing as the, the Dreadnought class. I'm going to be using the Enchanted Remnant as it is just the best one. This armor looks pretty sick, I can't lie. And let's get into the melee content. And I'm assuming this class won't have any runes or anything like that. Just a lot of weapon locations. And we spawn in Luernia of the lake. So we have the Path of Dreadnought. So the path just shows us the Bull Goat set and Lionel's set. And then we have all these weapons here. Yura's Kanabo, Leiden Maul, Axe of Rust, Sigur's Great Mace, Grafted Blade, Great Sword, War Scythe, and Gilded Quarterstaff, Red Branch Short Bow, and Long Bow, and Golem's Great Bow. I don't really think we're going to be touching the bows too much. So I guess we'll go collect all of the melee weapons and then go from there. Probably use one on each boss. I feel like that's fair. Where are we exactly? Okay. And one is at the Church of Vows, which is just up here. So we'll go to that one first. But yeah, I've been playing a bit of Blasphemous 2, and that's why uh, this video wasn't as quick as the other one so i think i'm gonna make a video on that when i do complete it i've been having some fun with the game yeah i've got a few requests on melee i was even debating if we should go for like a one hit build for this melee but i feel like that defeats the purpose of showcasing the weapons but i feel like it would be really funny if we just use these new weapons to one shot i don't really know the setup by heart <laughs> for that google exists for a reason you know you just watch someone else we'll see how the raw damage does and i think the next class after this will be the Nox Oracle. I've been getting a few requests for that. Probably the most requested after that would be Frenzied Flame quite a bit of frenzied flame requests but yeah i'm just gonna go gather all these weapons then we'll go grab the regular uh golden seeds sacred tears stuff like that and then we'll start fighting some bosses with our new weapons oh it's a legendary item i assume this is it the gilded quarter staff okay we do have the requirements for it um vaulting strike <laughs> Okay, it has a nice kick follow-up. So it has that, and then you can follow it up with a kick. Such a cool move set. Like, look at that. You just, this is so cool. And I really like the uh, follow-up it has with the kick. This gives me Sekiro vibes. All right, we are at the High Road Cave, which it says one of the weapons is in here. And I was saying Sekiro vibes. This move is directly from Sekiro, the kick, especially. I remember getting kicked in the face like that a couple of times, so surely. <laughs> okay, we got all the wolves. We're just going to head straight to the boss, which I think is a giant in here. All right, so we have the Guardian Golem here. We are going to use the Ash of war with the follow-up 1382 is not bad at all okay jump hits chill chill ow dude he does quite a bit of damage we're gonna try a charge attack here one two okay it's nice nice damage we could get a poise break that would be huge oh he's running away okay jump hits nice there's the poise break let's go try to get this off get the repost off boom oh my god that's 5k damage okay um let's go for the ash of war here boom into a kick and one more time oh we missed that part but we got the kickoff seems to be a very precise ash of war heal up we're not gonna risk anything jump hits and finish off the guardian golem here there is a combat remnant and the leaden maul we can't equip yet we need 25 strength but this thing looks sick they proper gave us like a, a mallet this thing is all right the next stop is lake egg heel so south of this lake so it's just somewhere this way is this it yes it is yura's kanabo this thing gives bleed buildup, but i also need 25 strength this thing looks interesting and next one is we're going to go for the war scythe which is graveyard north of stormvale there is the War Scythe, which needs 15 decks and gives bleed as well. This thing looks sick though. All of these weapons are so cool. All right, let's go grab some Sacred Tears and Golden Seeds before we grab our next weapon. 
All right, now we're gonna head into Castle Morn here to get the Grafted Blade Greatsword. Level up, we're gonna put Dex to 15, allowing us to use the War Scythe on Mr. Misbegotten over here. I wonder what the Lunging Harvest does. I'm so sorry, Jellyfish, you're gonna get this. Oh, that does damage. Hold on. Let's see if there is a follow-up. There is a follow-up. I assume all of them are going to have follow-ups. Okay, they're all mad at me now. Uh, okay, let's do this. Okay, the follow-up just basically killed it alone. So lunge and the follow-up is a double spinning slash sort of thing. And this thing gives bleed. That's crazy. Oh, that means we can kill a grail after this. That's nice. Let's lunge at you. Follow it up. Okay, that did one chaos rip. And it's like canceling him out of his roar. Okay, that's huge. We're gonna back up here, drink this FP pot so we can lunge at him once more. Follow it up, boom. Only one of them connected, but that's fine. Got a bleed there. Jump, hit, nice, boom, boom, boom. Hey, whoa, oh, oh, I'm getting smoked. Damn. Boom, we both went to lunge. Mine was just superior and he is dead. Wow, just this weapon is really good. And there is the Grafted Blade Greatsword, which is a part of our uh, weapon catalog. All right, let's go grab the last weapon that we have access to currently, which is in the sewers. So we'll go uh, teleport over there. Okay, we killed the Erdtree Avatar there, giving us access to this portal. But yeah, I want to get all of our weapons before we put our levels anywhere, but I assume it's all going to be strength. All right, we are now over in Altus Plateau. We're going to grab these golden seeds while we're on our way to the capital. Give me them seeds. Let's try the charged heavy. Boom, boom, boom. I feel like the Grim Reaper. Let us grab Lionel's armor here, which we're gonna need quite a bit of equip load. Actually, do we have a talisman for that? Hold on. Remnant crafting, just out of curiosity. Ah, we do get the Great Jar Arsenal. Honestly, we'll grab that. Don't know if I'll be able to... Okay, we can medium load it. We can already wear the goat armor. All right, we are in the subterranean shunning grounds. I honestly don't know where this thing could be in here. So it's time to get exploring. Are you what I'm looking for? No, but I'll take that gladly. Is this it? Axe of Rust, there it is. All right, that thing needs 35 strength. Okay, uh, let's go get some levels and we'll actually quickly check to see uh, what stones each weapon needs. If they're all the same, that would be wonderful, but I don't expect it to be that easy. Okay, somber, 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 somber. Okay, it was that easy. Uh, let's level this up twice. Looks like I'm gonna have to pick up the somber stone bell bearings later. Yoink. All right, we're gonna put levels into strength. Now let's take on Grail. We'll use those levels for vigor and endurance. There we go. And we switched to this weapon because I realized we could equip it and it had more bleed damage than the uh, the War Scythe. All right, let us level up our Vigor up to 25, our Endurance up to 20, and then Strength into 27. And now it is time to cheese Knight's Calve. Nice. We love free runes. Wait, does our armor give strength? I didn't even check that. Strength by one, reduce weapon stamina cost by 4% and increase weapon damage. Okay, nice. And our starting armor was strength and endurance by one. Gotcha. I was going to say, how do we have so much strength? Then it dawned on me. Okay, so we just need three more levels for the axe. So level up, strength, the 30 vigor up once. Just realized that I forgot to click start recording again, but all we have acquired is the first two Somberstone Miner Bell Bearings, and we just got the third one, and I just learned about this Ash of War, which is straight out of Sekiro, and I love it. And I think these Bell Bearings should be good for now. And right, let's offer Bell Bearing. Boom, boom, boom. That allows us to buy one, two, three, which will get to plus seven, which I think's fair for now. I don't think we need anything past that currently. I want to try out, I guess we'll use this weapon on Margit. So let's go level it up. There's three, four, five, six, seven. Gosh, that costs quite a bit. All right, let's strengthen it. 
the Kanabo. I'm probably pronouncing that horribly. And let's go take on Margit. And the way I think I'm going to do it is we're going to switch weapons every time we kill a boss. Cycle through and showcase everything and get a feel for everything, really. Let us craft with our remnant. We'll grab the green turtle talisman. And then I think we'll grab the dragon crest great shield talisman. Throw both of these on. All right, Margit, let's do this. Let's try out the Ash of War. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Oh, dude, the poise damage on this is crazy. That's wild. Okay, jump, hit, jump, hit. And this weapon also has bleed, which is really nice. Dodge forward. One, two. We got the bleed proc there. Jump, hit. Get another poise break. This weapon's crazy for poise, it seems like. And we'll follow it up with the technique here. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but if the poise is nice, that's all that really matters. Jump, hit, dodge, one, two, three, and we finish off Margit. Wow, we're gonna run through everyone, it seems like. Let's switch over to the lead in Maul. Uh, what's the Ash of War do? Okay, does it have a follow-up? Doesn't seem like it. And it says it does a large amount of posture damage, which I love. Let's strengthen this bad boy as much as we can. There we go. Weapon I'm most excited for is probably Sugir's uh, Great Mace, but that won't be for a little bit. I've heard that one has crazy strength scaling. All right, let's go take on Godric and try out this weapon with the Ash of War, see how it does. Hello, Godric, I am here. We'll immediately dodge this, go for the Ash of War here. Boom, go for it again. Okay, it poise broke him after two and he didn't cancel us. So like we can't get canceled out of this, it seems. Like that white ore around us means we can't get canceled. Dodge, dodge, we're gonna cancel him though. Yeah, we can just tank the hit. That's crazy strong. Okay, let's do a charged heavy attack. Nice, good damage. Jump, pits, jump, pits. Uh, do the Ash of War. Boom, get another poise break. <laughs> get the repost off, and this should make him go into phase two here. Hit him again. Boom, boom. Now he's switching over to phase two. Gonna beat on his backside for a little bit here. Boom. Let's run up to Godric. Boom, into another poise break. <laughs> this is so crazy. The poise breaks these weapons give, it's crazy so good jump hit go for uh, the concussive smash break his poise again get the repost off this is too good dodge dodge go for concussive smash boom jump hit poise break nice and finish off godric the grafted okay i think next we're going to try out the axe of rust what's this like titanic cleave Oh my gosh. It sends out a shockwave, it looks like. All directions. Like, that's crazy looking. Okay, let's go upgrade this bad boy. Then I think Radon is going to be our victim of choice for the rusted axe. Boom, boom. Level this all the way up to plus seven. Nice. Then I can use the extra runes to level up, I believe, like once. Okay, we get two levels. We're going to do one for vigor and one for strength because we still need to build up to use the uh, the grafted blade greatsword as it requires 40 strength. But before we do that, let's do some remnant crafting. We are going to craft the physical damage up. We are going to craft the strength not crystals here and then... um. Steadily restore his HP, might as well. So we'll toss this bad boy on and throw these into the Wondrous Physic. All right, so let's head into Dak, see how he takes this Titanic cleave. This guy has a pretty big poise, if I remember correctly. Like, he doesn't move, so this will be a battle of the warriors. Boom. Okay, <laughs> 891 is kind of crazy. Boom, boom. This weapon is so strong. Holy... And while he's getting up, we're going to charge it again. Yeah, scream me all you want. Oh, it knocks him back and everything. Jump, hit. This is like a freaking brute fight. We're just brute forcing everything. Just boom, boom, boom. I'll tank all your hits. You're going to tank all my hits. Jump, hit. Dodge that. Jump, hit. Poise break and finish off Dak. Boom. Yeah. Let's see how this does on regular enemies. I'm kind of curious. Let's get the one in the middle here. Charge it up. Boom. <laughs> they just fly up. That's so good. Boom. And he just, he dies. He dies in the air. That's so cool. I think we're going to use this weapon on Radon as well. All right, Radon, let's do this. I'm going to pop 
my flask there. Two hand this bad boy, get up to him and pop the titanic cleave. Let's see how you take in this. 1k, that's pretty solid damage, dodge, jump, hit, do a t heavy attack there, I'm gonna do a charged heavy, 1k damage, it's quite good damage, this weapon's really strong, going to be bashing into his horse here, boom, boom, jump, hit, get a poise break on Mr. Radon, that's crazy, he has super high stance, get that off, charge up the titanic cleave inside of Radon, boom, ah, oh, it didn't connect fully, let's try this one more time, and he's gone. Oh, he still got hit by that though. That's really cool then. The the way that the damage does from the ground slam, it like works vertically. Oh, I just accidentally popped my turtleneck. That's fine. Okay, we're gonna go for the cleave. Let's see if we can tank this. No, we couldn't tank that. Because it says it ups poise, but you know, Radon's just that guy. Charge it up. Boom. We've yet to get like a, a full hit on him. Boom. There we go. There's the thousand. That's what I was looking for. Jump, hit, jump, hit, jump, hit. Go for some regular hits here. Boom, boom, whoa. Okay, Radon, I see you. Jump, hit. Poise broke Radon, and I think this is where we are going to finish him off. Okay, into a titanic cleave. Oh, he's running away. All right. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Ow, didn't dodge, didn't dodge. I repeat, didn't dodge. Heal, jump, hits and finish off Radon. Hey, hey, Radon, we're not doing this. Just die. Thank you. That gives us the second keystone of the forge. Let us level up our strength some more and get our vigor up to 30. I think that is nice. Now our strength is a total of 40, so I can equip the Grafted Blade Greatsword. I know it's in the base game, but I've never really used this weapon. But I think for the next fight, we're going to use the uh, War Scythe. Let's go level this bad boy up. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, we're out of, out of cash. Oh, fix that problem real quick. There we go, plus seven. Now let's go grab the last weapon that we need. I wonder how much strength this is gonna take. I remember it was quite high, I just don't remember how high. All right, let's make our way up to our strength brother, Sigur. Feels weird not having a buffing ritual on this run. Uh, we're gonna drink our pot here and that's about the extent of it. We're gonna do the lunging harvest. Boom, boom. Oh, he gripped me. Oh, he's having none of the lunge. Okay, that didn't do a lot of damage, so that's nice. Let's heal up, dodge jump hit oh lunge harvest again followed up nice we made him bleed before he made us bleed l jump hit ow i'm sorry boom dodge oh there's our bleed okay going for lunging harvest boom follow it up nice i'm surprised that worked as well as it did like the little blobs didn't even go for me this is gonna hurt ow 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 Ow, whoa, whoa, chill. Going to drink this. Go for lunging harvest again. Boom, boom, boom. Jump, hit, jump, hit. You're not gripping me. Jump, hit. Go for a charged heavy here. Nice. Oh, poise broke him. And finish him off. Let's go. And we have the great mace. Let's see how expensive it is. Okay, we do have everything for it. That's nice. 105 blood loss and the physical damage is crazy good. Oh, we got to upgrade this. Let's see what the omen's roar does. Oh, I, I like that attack. While this enchantment is active, your charged heavy attacks will detonate with omen flames. Oh, so we get this as well. Oh, that's nice. Okay, uh, let's go buff this weapon up and introduce it to Morgat. All right, level this weapon up to plus seven. There we go. S scaling, already basically at 600 physical damage at only plus seven, which is better than everything we have so far by far. All right, let's throw on Radon's Great Rune and craft the plus the 10% physical damage talisman to replace this one. I should probably grab the hammer talisman so I can do big charged attacks with this. I think I will after this fight. Let's drink our flask here, pop in, then let's roar at Morgat to see how much these little boobers are doing. Okay, that's pretty solid damage. All right, let's charge up our heavy attack here. Oh my gosh, jump, hits, poise broke already. We're just gonna go for the charge hit huge another one. Oh my god dude his health is getting shredded uh reapply this buff here drink this pot dodge jump hit charge it another boys break just charge it again and one more time that's crazy damage he got bleed there and we finish off more cut that was so quick oh my god this thing is crazy 
crazy good. I, I, <laughs> what? All right, we're at Ferrum Azula on our way to Blasuda Sax and Malakath, but we also need to grab the Somber uh, Stone Bell Bearing 4 while we're here to really maximize some of our weapons, to maximize a couple of our weapons. All right, there is the Somber Stone Miner's Bell Bearing 4. All right, let's level up this to plus nine. There we go. I'm also going to level this up to plus nine, level this up to plus nine, level this up to plus nine and i'll just need one more for that but we're gonna quickly grab the remnant from this tower and then uh put on the axe talisman hammer talisman one of the two whichever one uh does the the charged heavy attack grab this combat remnant all right remnant crafting we are going to craft do we do jump attacks nah i think we'll do the charge attacks they're on the axe talisman and we'll actually purchase the strength talisman as well and i don't think we need this anymore yeah we can and do the medium load with without it and let's head into Lanciax. there she is um we just want to stay near her body here oh we're missing everything come on give it to me boom we follow it up with a kick oh she flew away that kick sent her far <laughs> jump hit ow ow holy need to hit her head but she is making that very difficult. Oh, she's gonna blow fire. Uh, let's just go over to a tail, get some hits in here. Boom, 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 boom. Nice, I'll gladly take that. Up she goes. The Ash of War isn't gonna be super useful in this fight because it is so precise. Probably should have chose a different weapon. Let's use the charge attack here. Boom, boom, nice 1K. Ow. Oh attack her tail though that's okay we'll still get carried by our nice little our nice jump hits 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 okay nice and we just went through her foot what the heck ow not like this go to her claws here boom boom oh get back here no chill jump hit oh we miss no just just connect something this is so sad there we go no no <laughs> so bad <laughs> okay we got her gosh that was horrible uh we're gonna switch back over to the the great mace it's just so strong now i honestly was thinking of only doing one melee only convergence uh class but i saw that there's like a dex class like they have different types of melee so do you guys think i should do that or just leave melee to just this class i feel like it's not unique enough to warrant warrant its own video but also i don't know what's in the classes i'm not too sure if i'm just gonna be missing out on some cool stuff we got some levels here uh let's put some into vigor one into endurance and the rest into strength and let's take on lasuda sax all right come here big boy let's pop this the omen roar allow them to all run at him nice they did good damage all right, let's go for a charge attack here. Nice 1500, get out of the lightning. Oh, we got hit by that. Okay, go for the heavy attack here. Nice, now we're just gonna keep going for that. Nice, that one didn't connect, but it still did good damage. All right, Omen's Roar once again. Oh, that poise broke him. All right, now we can get this off on his face. Oh, 3K, let's do it again. Oh yeah, got it off. Jump hits, let's do the, the charge attack here. It is doing a lot of damage. And up he goes. Will these be able to snipe him out of the air? Hold on, let's 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 test. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Alright, this time we're not gonna get owned. There we go. Nice. Dodge out. Go for a hit. Oh, never mind. Back up. Pop omens roar. Dodge. Go for the heavy. It's not gonna connect. Unfortunate. Dodge jump hits charge it up boom oh he's nuking oh get out oh get out ah. nice all right go for the omens roar here back to doing heavy attacks charge it up boom it's just chipping away his hp so fast nice oh he got a poise break as well aim for the head nice good damage get another one that's huge 
jump, hit, dodge out. That's okay though. Heal up. Is he gonna teleport? Oh, now he's gonna do the, the lightning. Let's use Omen's roar here. Oh, now he's doing lasers. Okay. Dodge and we run. Don't hit me. 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 Okay, we should be good. Go for the omen's roar here. Oh, we actually didn't teleport. I expected him to TP. Go for this. Nice. Ow. Not good. Uh, oh my god, we lived on one. Heal up. Go for the heavy here. Boom. Nice damage. Jump hits. Charge up another heavy attack. Huge poise break. Oh, he's dead here. Oh, you're so done, Mr. Lasuta Sax. And hit him. Oh. There we go got him and that is the third keystone of the forge this weapon is so good uh let's switch back to the canabo and we can level up let's get our vigor up to 40 and our strength up to 40 as well and then put the rest into endurance i guess i should grab the bull goat set so let's go talk to patches let's do a charge attack here boom and follow it up finish you off head into here okay patches i'm gonna do a charge attack on you all right all right, Patches, you're, you're getting it. Boom, 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 boom. Hello? Did those not connect? Can I not hurt Patches? Hello? Will they one-shot him? Is that why? Let's switch, switch to our starting weapon. I can't hit Patches. This is rigged. <laughs> uh, Omen's Roar, maybe? Get him? I'm getting trolled. Convergence mod is a troll. Get me out of here. All right, Patches, I'm coming back. You better die this time. Please tell me you were hittable. Oh, there we go. Oh, gosh. Thank you. All right, let's join the Volcano Manor now that we've spared Patches. All right, so now I should just have to kill this NPC. Then Patches will give me the letter. Then we can go get uh, the goat set. Come here, old knight. Take this. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, he dodged. Boom, boom, boom. Jump hits. Boom, boom. Oh, he's dead. Nice. All right, we have finished that. All right, you give me... Give me this. There we go. This has been a long journey just to get this set. So this better be damn good. All right, Magma Worm, I am here. Okay, once you stop charging, ow. Okay, Ash of War time. Boom, oh my gosh. Can I donk it, bonk it in the head with that? There we go, a nice poise break. Boom, get the repost off. Oh my gosh, <laughs> his HP is already gone. Another one, ah, the iframes, another one. There we go, jump, hit. And we'll finish him off with a charge attack. Oh, poise break and finish him there. Nice. All right, that's the easy part. Now I need this invader symbol. There we go. Uh, I'm here with a much smaller hammer to beat you. Jump, hit, oh. Uh, chill. Oh, I can do that. Nice. Jump, hit, jump, hit. Okay, I think I need to bring out the big guns for you. Let's uh, pull out the axe of rust. All right, let's try the ash of war, see how it does he <laughs> launches him can i chain it ah, ah he did the thing okay okay so i didn't get hit by it i'm going for it nice launch him up and finish him off hey hey, hey. nope there we go nice there's the bull go armor let's see strength endurance and vig by two oh oh Okay, massive. I mean, statistically, the armor just its not as great, but look at us. We'd go. All right, we're finally going to use the Grafted Blade Greatsword for the next boss here. If I remember correctly, the Oath of Vengeance, doesn't that just up all, all of your stats or something like that? Let's see. Yeah, it brings them all up by five, which is super nice, by the way. That's crazy good. All right, let's drink this pot. Hop down here. There you are. Okay, let's charge a attack. Ow. Oh my god, my freaking HP got melted there. Jump hits. Okay, big damage. Let's go for a charge attack. Ow. Chill. Oh my gosh. We're getting owned. Chill. Ow. We're dead. Okay, no charge attacks. Jump hits. Nice. Let's go for a regular hit there. Oh, these hits are massive. Jump hits. They dodge. Jump hit. Nice. Jump hits. Nice. Poise break get this off or not there's two hits oh go for another one ow okay that's actually not terrible damage jump hits jump hits dodge maybe charged 
No, no charge. Jump, hit, jump, hit. Oh, that connected. I didn't expect it to. Jump, hit, nice. Ow, whoa, 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 whoa. Jump, hit, whoa. <laughs> she almost lifted us up there. Ow, jump, hit, boys break. There we go, get it off and finish off Sierra. All right, let's go back to the very, very broken, but fun. Great mace. We're at 60 strength. That's crazy. This armor set. Oof. Level up. I guess we put levels into endurance. And we can get the ancient dragon smithing stone here. And we can also pick up the somber stone bell bearing five, which allows us to purchase ancient somber smithing stones. All right, let's quickly make this thing as strong as possible. So let's buff it to the max plus 10. All right, we will craft this remnant, which is increases all physical damage by 12.5 then we are also going to grab the stone shrouded cracked tier and remove the hp one put that on put this on all right now let's try this out on malekith let's see how much damage we can deal to him now i could go a step further and like grab a wet blade like put fire on this weapon and then flame grant me strength we'll see how this does for now enter the arena and we want to use omen's roar right beside him We're gonna drink our flask jump use this okay we didn't get the the first damage off dodge let's charge it up hope he walks into us nice big damage into a poise break we'll get the poise break off huge and followed up with the charged attack to phase shift him time for malekith uh, okay, we got through. Let's do the scream right here. Nice. Dodge, dodge. Go for the heavy. Nice. Go for it again. He's gone. Understandable, Malakov. Jump, hit. Okay, go for this. Boom. Does so much damage. Dodge forward. Uh oh. Oh, oh, oh. That boy's broke him. That was so clutch. We were definitely dying there. Oh. Thank you, Omen's Roar. Okay, we're gonna throw off this talisman for the next fight because we don't want to take any more damage. Oh, I forgot we need to kill the fire giant next. Okay, I, I guess we could throw it back on. Okay, with these levels, let's put our endurance up to 35 and <laughs> move that strength up some more. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Oh, he didn't go for the snow attack, which is surprising. Uh, let's scream at him real quick. Omen's Roar. Uh, do a heavy charge. Oh my god, dude. The damage is so silly. Jump hit. Broke the ankle bracelet. Uh, do the shout again. Oh my god, the shout itself is doing like crazy damage. He stands no chance. Alright, go for the charged heavy here. <laughs> nice little 3,000 damage. Do it again. Oh, we got 4,000 and we didn't even get the, the charged off. Go for his hand to come down. Yell at them hands. And get this off. Oh my gosh. Dropping the elbow. Okay, we gotta get away from his face. But we can tickle them toes. Boom. Not as much damage as it was doing. Okay, a poise break. Uh, probably just attack him. I was considering repositioning to get a hit on the, the eye, but that don't, I don't think it matters too much. Jump hit. Oh, back here. Oh, whoa, whoa, chill. Boom, boom, off he goes. Okay, we'll let out another roar. Nice, jump hits, and go for the charge heavy. Boom, and finish off the fire giant. Nice and easy. I know I was switching weapons every so often, but this one's just too good. Like, ah, I'm sorry. All right, let's talk to Melina. All right, let's head up to Big Strong Man. I hope we got this. If not, the, uh, if we can't beat him with this, I suck, straight up. Alright, let's drink our pots. Hey, Scarred, how you doing? Uh, roar. Jump, hit. Go for the charge attack. Nice. Uh, I didn't dodge. I was in the middle of, uh, going for it again. Ah. Dodge, heal, go for the big hit. He is blocking everything. That's doing no damage. Dodge, out, roar at him again. Nice, we cancel them. Jump, hit. Oh, whoa. Heavy attack. Oh, poise break. We'll get that off. Might as well. That's huge. Boom, big damage. And then we'll charge this up. Nice. That's actually good damage for him because he doesn't take any damage. Dodge. Ow. One. Oh, chill. Jump, hit. I'll do it back. Oh, can dodge quick enough. Uh, oh, I got stuck. Ah. Dodge forward. Roar. Let it off. Nice. Where is he? Charge heavy attack. Doesn't hit. 
jump, hit, dodge, charge, heavy attack, boom, oh, and we finish him off here with the repost, finishing off Scarred. Nice. That wasn't as bad as I expected it to be, but it wasn't easy either. I was hoping it would have been easy, but you know, just nothing else scales, like I, as much as this. Like if I use another weapon, I'm just actively throwing. I guess we'll just keep throwing uh, levels into strength because I don't really know what to do with these levels anymore. But now it is time to take on Horaloo and Goatfree. Immediately pop the Omen's Roar as he's running towards us to get it off. Ow, ow, my fault. Charge this up, <laughs> huge damage, 2k. Charge it up again, uh, only the explosion hits. Get out of that, oh. Got me there. Heal up here. Jump, hit, jump, hit. Boom, dodge, boom. Even our regular hits just do so much damage. Beat into him here. <laughs> he face shifted. Uh, back up, roar at him, dodge. Okay, we're going for the heavy here. Nice, casual 2,900. Oh, you gripped me. Dodge, get the omens roar off. Nice, big damage, dodge. Okay, he's going for it, getting here. All right, now he's going to try to grip me. Okay, heavy attack, boom, 3K. <laughs> grip me all you want, you don't stand a chance. Boom, 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 dodge, boom, weed, and finish off Hora Lu. Ah, 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 no, no, no. That was so sad. Jump, hit. Okay, this time, this time, it's it's done, it's done. Yes, you're dead. You're not getting away with that. Frick you. Strength this and head in. There you are. Gonna give you a big ol' hug. There we go. Nice. Charge this off. Huge. Go for it again. Nice. Dodge this. Ow. Go for it again. Nice poise break. Get it off. Huge. Big damage. Oh my god, that did so much. And then do it again. Nice. Ow. Dodge, go for the Omen's Roar here, do some nice damage to him. Dodge, hit, dodge, hit. Dodge, jump, hit, and just charge this off and finish off for time. Oh, it's too easy. Might as well just replenish our HP and uh, FP. All right, let's get one hit off, another hit. All right, now he's gonna go for the flame, go for the omen's roar. Oh, he's taken off, he's taken off. Dodge, go for the big hit. Boom, oh my God, just so much damage. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Ow. Oh, that does too much damage. Oh, he is already in rings. That is unfortunate. Okay, let off the roar here. Okay, he's gonna take off. Oh no. Dodge. Nice. Get back here. Okay. Boom. Whoa. Ow. Ah. Ah. You're making it very hard to uh, do damage to. You just keep running away. Oh my god, they did 3k off the yell. <laughs> Holy! Dodge, dodge, out, dodge, dodge, all right, there we go, boom, there we go, let's get this damage off, huge, uh, we're not going for the poise break, we're just going to keep charging him up, I think I can get one more off, oh, we don't have the, the buff on, let's use it again, and we should be able to finish him off, oh, it's going to be close, like, I think our little goobers can get him, Nope, they don't get him. I don't know which direction I was facing when he went up, so I'm just gonna run this way and hope that I'm close. I was totally off. Come here! No! Oh my god, that did so much. Alright, and he is dead. Dreadnought Class OP, aka this weapon is just so damn good. That is a strength run in the Convergence mod. If you did enjoy, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, it's been Curtis the Cactus, and I will see you in the next video.